Hi there, it's Sano. And welcome to my first video. It's a traditional speed paint, as you can see. And it's really my first one, and I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time. So it might sound a little bit weird sometimes. And you know, I'm nervous. So please just take it easy and enjoy. So firstly, I'm going to show off my tools and materials. So I use this Canson paper A5, pretty much thick, and it's for mixed media. So it can take gouache, watercolor, ink, even copics and markers, of course. Well, pretty much anything. The texture is really nice and uh, the paper itself is thick, so it can take a lot of damage. Unless you're going to make a hole inside of that, right? Well, the paper I used is from this sketchbook, but uh, I kind of... Uh, when I was drawing something else, I messed up and used too much ink with Copics. And I, I, I didn't notice and that I didn't put a paper under the drawing and... Here are stains. Well, another tool I'm going to use is this uh, Kuratake brush pen. I saw it in many videos and I fell in love with that and bought it myself. So here you can see the detail on the uh, name of the pen. The brush tip is really nice and um, the, the cartridge is uh, full of ink which which is uh, usable with watercolors and Copic markers as well. But you need to wait till it dries, a little bit longer maybe. And my favorite uh, pencil for sketching. It's a Faber-Castell Red Micro Pen. I use it a lot, like maybe all my drawings that are traditional. So here is the look at the paper, the stains. Looked like I ate chocolate while I was drawing or something. <laughs> but no, no, it's ink, really. Seriously. So, it would be bad if I didn't use the paper. So at least we are going to try this test video with uh, this poor paper that had no other use. So here I'm starting to uh, already draw the sketch. I was not really sure what to draw. I guess the usual thing I do. I really like anatomy and girls and so I just started to draw like girly curves and some kind of yeah just just face and the usual things but I didn't really know what exactly to do like how to make it somehow special or original or something so uh, when I started to draw hands because it would be I I don't like if it would be like just torso so I started to draw hands but you know when you mess up and you drew draw the hands when they are like kind of away from the angle they should be and then you are like oh well damn it <laughs> what now so I try try to make something magical with with uh, hands which are not connected to the body so I ended up with this idea of magical girl I would say which is uh, created or she have inside of her gems or rocks so her hands are like floating because of the magic in the gems and uh, she have gems growing out of her head and she's all cracked like a rock I kind of felt like it's a really nice idea so I drew it at least it's something a little bit more special well Right now I'm trying to do the line art, which I'm really bad at. I'm always bad at line art. So even it's even worse with the brush pens because I'm bad with not only line arts, but the first time I tried brush pen it ended up horrid. 
I need to practice a lot to get straight la lines without, you know, when you have a shaky hand, it's it's hard to get something good that you can look at and say, oh, I did a good job, but not today, hmm? <laughs> Oh man. Well, uh, another media, uh, another, it's supposed to be a mixed media painting, so I'm going to color it with Copics and watercolors. And for this, uh, painting I started with, uh, of course, Copics. Well, firstly, I tried to make some small details with my multiliner, but uh, it's damaged as well. <laughs> I have like everything damaged. <laughs> oh man. Well, um, so I tried to make something, but it didn't end up well. Then I had to, I was impatient, then I tried to. Uh, erase the lines with the the sketch and I kind of smudged around the eye part but psh, you didn't see anything so here is the Copic part I used four Copics only uh, purple is usually for uh, shadows I really like to make some kind of cooler shadows and colder, colder colors they are really nice for shadows. Then I used the uh, Ordinary Earth Col Copic for the skin and some pinky for for the blush and the parts which are regular which are... <laughs> I'm sorry my English is really bad so forgive me. <sighs> well I had to be really careful in this part because it uh, the ink is kind of tricky when it uh, when it comes to the part of uh, coloring. When you are not when you don't wait uh, long enough, it can smudge and make a mess. That's not what we want. So in this part, I'm doing uh, the coloring part with my uh, white knight aquarel set, thirty two colors, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so. I'm not going to count it. Uh, I'm too lazy to do that. Well, I'm going to believe my horrible memory, so... 30, 36 beat. So, I try to make a, something like contrast in this painting, and so I decided to use blue and green for the rest of the body. Uh, the skin is uh, pretty much warm because of the earth colors and uh, and the uh, blush. So other parts are going to be colder. I I tried to mix the Copic with the uh, with uh, with the aquarel paint to make uh, the shadow deeper and make it more plastic. I tried. Please don't judge me. And then I tried to continue with the other parts, like the bondage or what is she wearing. I uh, painted uh, the cracks and the, di the gems or diamonds growing out of her of blue. Because I like blue. Blue is nice. So why not? and uh, mix it with green. I kind of failed, I guess, because um, it, it turned out pretty much dirty, I think. Could be better. Well, it can be always better, of course, but I'm just too... I'm too critical to me, myself. So... I'm not really satisfied with that, but let's take it just as a sketch, so... Let's take it easy. That should do. So I didn't want to make the scarf kind of the like blue and green because it would kind of blend into the picture. So I choose the opposite, which is red and pink, and it turned out into some kind of purple, purple red. 
but it still make the contrast in the picture so it's not really blending into it so there's some kind of focus point in the picture and I'm pretty much happy with that that I choose this color because it would look flat if I did it with blue and green. Now I'm adding a little bit of uh, yellow into the hair to make it more colorful and so the hair won't look flat as well. And finally I finished and the painting dried and I'm using my um, uh, my pants, uh, the golden one and the uh, white one for details like highlights and some, well, the golden one I kind of, I, I thought that the, the blue is, it, it's a little bit boring so I, I decided why not using gold, gold always make everything better so I decided to use the gold to put some details in it and I thought like it's like the gem lapis lazuli which have a uh, blue color and uh, sometimes they're like golden dots and uh, veins which are golden and it just felt right and nice so I did that a little bit more details and highlights with the white one and we are almost done well here it is I hope you enjoyed the video it, it was r kind of I was really shy and did it a few times so I really hope you it wasn't that horrible uh, I'm hoping that we are going to see each other hopefully soon so leave a comment if you liked it or if you think I should practice more my voice acting whatever it is or whatever you think what is your opinion about this and i'll be happy for a like and a subscribes so see you soon and thank you thank you for watching bye bye